good Sunday morning, everybody. Welcome to the Annaville Report. I'm Alan Harwell. And I'm Megan Arsas. Now, you were at the FCA Fuels of Fate on Wednesday in Portland. I understand it was a tremendous event. Oh, it was amazing. We had a great turnout. We had amazing worship by Justin Chapman, a great speaker. Many kids gave their lives to Christ. And many renewed their relationship. And it's just amazing to see God working with those kids on the field. That's great. I know that uh, our church has always had great representation there. Again, FCA Fellowship of Christian Athletes, always a tremendous night. All right, lots going on here at our church. Let's check it out. Awanas is having their annual trunk or treat on Wednesday, October the 31st at 6.30 p.m. in the church back parking lot. You're encouraged to come decorate your trunks and pass out candy to the kids. The best decorated trunk will win a $50 restaurant gift card. We hope to see you there. The McConnell Prison Ministry Team is heading up to Beeville in less than two weeks. We need a lot of help with that. We have a table set up right here in the foyer next to the main office to kind of explain what Kairos is all about and what they need. In fact, we got Bob Tucker standing by with the team to tell us all about it. Bob? Thank you, Alan. And I'm with a group of people here who are very hardworking and dedicated. These are the Cairo team from here at ABC. Going back to McConnell Unit here in about another week and a half, something like that. And Dave, what all can that we do to help out? Well, we want to remind everyone to uh, don't forget meal tickets. It's very meaningful. The cookies, the prayer chains. Uh, if you do pack cookies, pack them in a cardboard box. They will last a lot better and not break up. If you want your box back, put your name on it. And I would like to uh, brag on Annaville Baptist Church and the fantastic support they've given us in all the past. Well, we appreciate all of you and we thank you for your dedication and your work. Coming up soon, please help us at the Kairos. Christmas Extravagant Worship started this past Wednesday at 5 p.m. It's for third, fourth, and fifth grade girls. They'll be practicing every Wednesday to get ready for their Christmas performance. I have Miss Brenda Simmons standing by to tell us more about it. Yes, thank you, Megan. Extravagant worship for the Christmas services for all 3rd, 4th, and 5th grade girls. Room A101, Wednesday afternoons at 5 o'clock. I'll provide pizza. Sign up is in the hall. Come join us. Well, I hope you folks out there are ready for tonight's big wedding of my daughter Katie Sue. So we want y'all to come, enjoy the wedding, and have some vittles with us. Bob, what you got to say? We're just going to have a lot of fun and play, play with spoons, and we're going to have a good time when we eat. I'm done talking about Katie. Maybe it's going to be my turn. You're too old. Aww. All right, that is a wrap for this week's Annabelle Report. Hey, did you notice all the nice fall decorations on our outside our worship yes, center? Yes, they're really festive. They look good. Speaking of looking good, tonight's tonight we've been waiting on. It's the big mystery dinner theater in the gym, 5 o'clock. Tickets are still available, and which also means there's no church service tonight. Mm -hmm. And ladies, don't forget, if you signed up for a Bible study, they either start Monday or this Tuesday. Also, on Wednesday, we have services for all ages at 6.30, and the theme for Iwanas this night is grown-up night, so make sure you dress up really fun. All right, now coming up a week from today, we're going to have a special benefit from Melanie Cox. She's an active member here at ABC. Sunday, October 21st, from 1 to 5 o'clock, we're going to be selling cheeseburgers, chips, and a drink, and all the fixings for just $7. Sounds like a lot of news. We'll see you next week.